What's going on everyone? Mimic here with another video. This one is going to be about the top four best end game sets for DPS and tanks. And I'm going to be breaking down where you can get these items, why I think they're the best items and how you can farm the items. Before I jump into the video, though, I do have to give thanks to my supporters. Um, there are two people that donated to me on my last uh last night on stream you guys are now in the top five uh donation supporters on all of my videos you're going to be on the description there that is of course until someone takes your spot so just wanted to give you guys a shout out there you guys are now there i really appreciate all the support thank you so much on top of that i have enabled membership so now you can subscribe to the channel if you do want to support the channel if you do like catching me on the streams you can do it now you guys are going to get cool exclusive perks you guys are going to get these cool sub badges that i had created and you guys are going to have these really cool new gif emojis that you can use and spam in the chat every time you guys are watching my my uh my stream so thanks so much let's jump into the video so without a doubt without a doubt okay general furies is going to be dps in my opinion best headgear uh now there i'm gonna get into this in a second but for me it makes sense to go general furies headgear if you look at the melee heavy attack chance plus 150 when you get two of this item set that is broken so for melee it is 100 percent best in slot headpiece you know if you if you're melee now there may be some other things that you can do but honestly this headpiece i've gotten like four or five times it's an easy drop you can see there um i've got ranged evasion on it i've got melee evasion on it and i've got cooldown speed on it of course those aren't traded out yet because it costs a little bit more lucent to trade out your items but those are the base traits I've got on it. You can see that this item gives you plus two perception, which is going to help land my stuns, plus 74 stun chance, which is also giving me a buff to landing my stuns. And it's got that great max health that everyone wants, plus 450. Now, this is at base level six. You can take this all the way to level nine, and eventually you'll be able to take it up to level 12 from what I hear. So this is beefy. It's a great item. You can get this item by doing your dungeons. If you just hit escape and go to secret dungeons, you can see here that this item can be found in the underground cave of destruction level 50 dungeon. This ant will drop the general furies headgear you have a chance to get it every time you do the dungeon so if you guys are trying to farm that item do your dungeon due to the underground cave of destruction it's a great fun time and you're gonna get this headgear headpiece for sure you will receive it i've gotten it like five times probably i have run this dungeon quite a bit but you do get it so if you're looking to get the headpiece once you're level 50 and you want to get that melee heavy attack chance plus 150 do the cave of destruction now that is the headpiece now right now you can get if you open up your map you press m right if you go up here top left of the map bono's basin okay a bunch of orcs a bunch of orcs in this area if you click right here it says territory info and you go to brawler you're gonna see here they drop the general's charge boots now in the server there's people selling this for forty thousand lucent which is absurd but for good reason because the drop rate is like 0 0.00001 it's impossible to get these boots but i guess if you're you know if you're like have that mindset where it's like well i'm gonna go farm and try to get them because you know if you're not farming you're we you will 100 percent never get them so if you're one of those people that's like well let me at least go try to farm and i might get them hey you guys might get them and honestly they're really good boots plus two movement speed at level zero plus four strength at level zero so once you get these plus six i'm sure that movement speed is going to go to like four or six percent maybe and then that strength is also going to increase strength is great it's going to give you max hp it's going to give you some hp regen uh and you know with great sword dagger you the more health you have the more damage you do so this is a solid pair of boots and when you get them you're going to see that it's going to unlock that melee heavy attack chance 150 which is going to give you an additional 15 percent chance per attack to hit a double damage proc so hands down my opinion you want the headpiece you want the boots to get the two set 
attack bonus there best in slot items headpiece and boots for melee that's my opinion you guys may have different opinions just wanted to show you guys what i thought and where to get those items so good luck if you guys are out there farming i hope you guys get it they're solid solid boots i don't have them yet i am fiending for them however now let's jump into the what i consider the best in slot for dps in general whether you're a melee whether you're ranged whether you're a caster in my opinion these are the best two items in the game right now for dps and we are going to go into to find them go into the map we're going to come over here to this dungeon shadow crypt you click it and you can see here that if you go to dark these dark assassins in this crypt they drop uh so so this is the ghost wolf actually let me let me go back let me go back we're gonna actually come over here i want to show you this we're gonna get to the ghost wolf in a second because those are also that's one of, that's one of the sets let's go back i'm gonna we'll roll it back real quick guys my fault for the best damage you're gonna be wanting to look for the reaper set okay this reaper set is solid for dps i know it says bind chance there so you're gonna think well maybe that's only for rangers not necessarily because great sword dagger has a bind chance on your shadow step so it still applies so even if you're like great sword dagger you can still take advantage of this it's going to give you the bind chance plus 41 at base zero it's going to give you that range evasion which is solid and it's going to give you stamina region which is overlooked in my opinion stamina region is really good and it is a solid 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 item okay now when you get two of the item you're going to be getting that critical damage and give me one second i'm going to check something really quick okay we're back sorry i had to check something there so when you get the reaper set you're going to be getting that critical damage all your critical damage is going to be up 21 percent that is so good power spike i can't eat if you guys aren't playing this game 21 percent critical damage is a power spike like you would not imagine so if you're a DPS, you want the Reaper set. Now, what I would recommend is getting the chest piece, which you can get from Excavator. This is a world boss that comes out and you can fight him. And it's also a guild boss that you can do with your uh, guildies. So when you're once you're in a guild, you can do these guild bosses and you'll be able to get a chance at getting the Reaper's Concealing Shroud. On top of that, I believe you can get the second piece of set here. from the second piece of set reaper gloves are from let me see i probably should have found these first there they are sorry about that guys i get mixed up on my bosses the reaper's hand of death from cornelius this is another uh, world boss this is a guild uh guild raid that you guys can do and you can see cornelius here in all his glory drops the reaper's hand of death you can see here that you get range plus 1.7 which you think would only apply to rangers that is not the case you still want range on your melee because you can still hit people from a little bit farther distance as they're trying to circle and kite you so it does still apply to melee and you get the dex plus three which is going to help with your crit chance and you get the range crit hit obviously you're not ranged as melee, but that is the one stat on there where you're just going to have to sacrifice unless you want another piece from Reapers. I think it makes more sense to get the hands, though. And you can see here, if you get the hands and you get the shroud, which is the top piece, you are going to take advantage and get that two set critical damage 21%, which is so, so juicy. So that is where you're going to be getting the Reaper set if you guys want to try to farm for that. Now, the next set, which I was explaining before, is the Ghost Wolf set. Now, 
the ghost wolf set is really 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 good for like expo dagger any expo user and if you come to chernabog which is another world boss or a guild boss guild raid if you want to do it in the guild raid you can see here he drops the ghost wolf uh, headgear we just did guild raids earlier one of our members got this headpiece it looks really cool on on um on your character it kind of makes you look like a samurai the way it goes over your face really cool the way it looks in game it's going to give you that three decks uh which is going to help your crit it's going to give you some mana regen which is very important for almost every class has some type of mana problem so getting that extra mana regen is solid and then the cooldown speed is very 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 good as well and you can see here when you get two pieces on the very bottom there you're going to be getting that damage bonus plus 22 so you're going to be doing a flat plus 22 damage across every single attack that you do which is amazing it's going to give you that dps that's going to help you kill secure and it's going to give you that power dps spike that you're looking for end game so this is where you get the headpiece it's from chernabog and chernabog is a very easy fight like it's very easy to kill him so you guys should have no problem trying to get this mask from chernabog now to get the second piece back where i was saying i'm gonna just come out here and we're just gonna load to get the second piece you are gonna want to go back to where i was saying here you're gonna want to press m you're gonna want to go up here to the very top left it says shadow crypt it is an open world dungeon and then these assassins here actually drop uh the ghost wolf gloves right here now my brother actually got these gloves about a week ago and sold them for fifteen thousand lucent because there was someone who wanted them so if for some reason you're just in this area farming and you happen to get these you just came up really big you can sell them on the market for a lot of money um you can see here that the gloves are going to give that added attack speed plus two percent at base level zero which is probably going to be four or six percent at plus six which is insane attack speed in this game is honestly really 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 good you're going to get that dex plus two which is great and you're going to get that ranged evasion which is going to help you evade those uh ranged attacks there and of course once you get that you unlock that damage bonus plus 22 so that is where you're going to be getting the ghost wolf set and again this is my opinion you can change up you know what items you're getting if maybe you have a better item like if you don't want the gloves you can get maybe the pants or you can get the boots instead right i'm just kind of going based on what i'm playing and how i would build my character if if it was me the one making the decision so just letting you know that that's where you can get the ghost wolf gloves there in the dungeon shadowed crypt now for final for the final closing here um grand generals this is a pure 100 percent tank build it's probably going to be best items for tank as far as the sets go but again it's open to deliberation there and it's called that it's called the grand general set so if you look here i believe it's here it's just so excavator excavator is going to drop the grand general's command visor it's going to give tanks plus three strength which is great take advantage of more health there more health regen and it's going to give you guys plus 2.5 cooldown speed at base level zero once you get this to level six when you move your blue to purple i'm going to assume that that cooldown speed should at least double and you can see here that the set bonus for having two of these is going to be that op damage reduction 20 too. so it's going to keep the tank alive you guys are going to be absorbing more damage the enemies are going to be using a lot of their skills on you to get the damage and you're going to be draining those cooldowns off the enemies and then your team is going to be able to go in and burst them because they're trying to kill you and you have that damage reduction so that is why i think it's best in slot now that is the headpiece right here grand general's command visor you get it from excavator as well let's go and look here you have the Grand General's Strike Gloves here. So um, Talus is going to drop the gloves. And the gloves are going to give the tanks that 3% extra range, which is great. It's going to give them some dex. And it's going to give them some critical hit to help you guys out with a little bit extra damage there. Uh, and of course, once you have the two set, you're going to take advantage of the damage reduction. Now, if you guys go full Grand General's, you're going to be getting that shield block chance 10%, which is so good for tanks. 
so if you guys want to keep farming for the end game gear and 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 get you know maybe you want to get the boots as well from uh from Minizarok, right you'll have the three set there and then if you get the final piece you'll have the four set which is the shield block chance 10%. Now, Minizarok gives you the movement speed plus 1.4% at base level, plus two strength and collision chance 25, which is amazing. So, that is pretty much the video. You can see here that the Grand Alien, which is a newer boss that just came out, drops the armor piece. It's going to give you the four strength and it's also going to give you damage reduction plus four. So, this is a tank build, right? If you're going DR damage reduction, you definitely want to tap that out because these are some of the best items in the game for your final builds. And you're going to have a ton of damage reduction on your tanks if you guys are actually doing the, the set bonuses. So just wanted to show you guys where those items are, how you can get them, and what I would recommend building based on your playstyle and tune. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Again, if you haven't liked the video, smash the like button. It helps other people find this video and helps them enjoy the content as well. If you guys have any comments, throw them in the comment section. I do reply to those myself. And if you want to give me some love, all you got to do is throw me a sub. Thanks so much for all your views and all your support. Until next time, my friends. Peace.